So next we are going to talk about diseases. So what do we mean by diseases? So disease is a state in which our entire body or a part of it is not able to function properly. Say for example we have we have a problem with our left hand then whatever function the le left hand does it is not able to do it we tend to depend wholly on the right hand to do everything so disease is nothing but a state in which our entire body or a part of it is not able to function properly so this is the definition of disease so talking about diseases disease is a state in which our body or a part of it is not able to function properly it is a condition of malfunction of our body or a part of it it occurs due to many reasons a common cause for diseases is the lack of nutrients in our diet that is we do not follow the food pyramid of the balanced diet and this leads to any, any disease it can also occur due to the presence of germs or microbes in our environment so there are two causes for diseases one is we do not consume the correct balanced diet because of the lack of nutrients or the second may be the presence of germs or microbes in our surroundings so we've seen that disease is a state in which the body or a part of it is not able to function properly it is a condition of malfunction of our body or a part of it it occurs so disease occurs due to many reasons the first is the common cause for disease is is the lack of nutrients in our diet so that is the first important cause the second cause is maybe the presence of germs or microbes in our surroundings so there are two types of diseases so what are the causes of diseases is either that is the lack of nutrients in our diet or the presence of germs or microbes in our surroundings then we are going to split the diseases there are two types of diseases that is your communicable and your non communicable diseases so first talking about communicable diseases so communicable diseases are diseases that are caused by the spreading of germs from one person to another so when one person is infected he tends to pass it on to the next healthy person so this is called communicable diseases so communicable diseases is nothing but diseases that are caused by the spreading of germs from one person to another and germs can spread through contact or by coughing sneezing and spitting so one infected person tends to pass it on to other persons merely by contact or by coughing sneezing and spitting so talking about diseases we've seen that disease is a state in which the body the whole body or a part of it is not able to function properly it is a condition of malfunction of our body or a part of it and it occurs due to many reasons or causes the first common cause is the lack of nutrients in our diet the next is it can also occur due to the presence of germs or microbes in our surroundings so diseases have been split into two that is your communicable diseases and your non communicable diseases so communicable diseases are diseases that are caused by 
the spreading of germs from one person to another. Germs can spread through contact or by coughing, sneezing and spitting. So when somebody spits, the infected germs could pass on to the next person.